Hi, this is Bob Weiss. I'm the host of Shaking Your World. Cheers. Folks, welcome home. Here we are at the Magnificent Shakers in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, doing one of our cocktail classes with Michaela, the lovely and talented Michaela. We just got back from New Orleans. We're down filming our virtual video series for the tours, and we uh, took it upon ourselves to stop at a couple of the best bars and the best restaurants that are currently open in New Orleans. One of my personal favorites is the Carousel Bar in the Hotel Monteleone. So what was your take on that? The whole bar was truly lovely. It's actually one of the few moving bars left in the country. It's gorgeous. It's literally built like a carousel. That's where it gets its name. And I think they take so much pride in everything they do from the moment you walk into the door, really creating that ambiance and atmosphere. And that carries over into the gorgeous cocktails that they do make. Um, they had phenomenal cocktails, great service, and it was just a lovely place to be. I concur with every part of that. So today, Michaela is going to make uh, one of the classic New Orleans cocktails. It's either pronounced a Ramos Gin Fin or a Ramos Gin Fizz. Either way, it works just fine with us. So this is a cocktail that goes back to about the late 1800s or so, created in New Orleans, uh, has a very storied history, created as a breakfast, breakfast cocktail. cocktail. Which is because fancy enough because it uses eggs in it. Real eggs, eggs. Just the egg whites, not the yolk, but... <laughs> just the whites. So we're going to have fun with this. And one of the cool things about this cocktail is that it is a dry shake. So dry shake means without ice. Yep. And it's a little more effort, but it creates just a sumptuous, velvety, marvelous cocktail. It's like a gin cloud, if you will. If you will, I like that. So wait till we get to Costa Rica and do the cloud for us. But in the meantime, Michaela, please All show right. us how it's done. So we're going to start by cracking an egg. And you're just going to get the egg white in there. Make sure you don't get the yolk or the shell. Like so. You're going to dump that into your shaker. You're going to put about an ounce of cream in. Heavy cream. Heavy cream. For whipping purposes. You're going to get two ounces of gin. We're using Boodles here. It is a British dry, or a London dry, I suppose. And then we're going to squeeze in some fresh citrus. We're going to get about an ounce of each lemon and lime juice in there for you guys. That's about 30 milliliters for those of you in the UK. <laughs> get one more in there. <laughs> Smells of fresh lime are one of the best things in my mind as a chef that really accelerate the flavors of any type of cocktail or any type of food dish. It's fresh, man. You're going to grab fresh. the simple syrup if you can Well, of that. course. I'd be honored to, Thank naturally. Thank you. Just a pull or two of that. Not too much. We don't want it overly sweet. And then we're going to add about an ounce of um, sparkling water. We're using an Italian sparkling water here today. And that'll really help the foam that we want create be created while we shake it here. And then we're going to start with the dry shake. So no ice. We're going to shake it pretty vigorously for quite a while here. Longer than you shake most cocktails. That's why it's such a uh, time and intensive cocktail here. So we're going to give it a shake. Now, I thought about this. We've got uh, this glass with some ice in it right now to get that super cold as you possibly can, which will make a difference in how the cocktail stabilizes and stays. You can make this cocktail by putting the sparkling water on the top as well. The difference is that's going to cause it to separate a bit. This way, it's more of a homogenous mixture, though it is a little trickier to get that shake because you got pressure inside of it. Now, we're going to add some ice and shake it again until the ice actually completely melts in there. That's how long you're going to shake it for. Now, I prefer using the standard ice that we use in shakers for our cocktails. Uh, there are some sites that tell you use large, oversized cubes, but I, from my perspective, this works much better. You don't have the uh, degradation of the ice going down like we are always concerned about here. And this definitely is a workout, so you can skip your gym days when you're making these cocktails. It is that. We can check back in 10 minutes, but no, it's not. <laughs> Feels like feels like an eternity, but it's worth it for the consistency that you get at the end of this cocktail. It is that. Now there's a story that when these originally created, they would have up to 20 different people take their turns shaking this cocktail. Maybe, or maybe not. We're almost there. Almost there. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and dump out this ice. 
Or you could take a turn shaking this. I could, <laughs> but I don't want to. <gasps> oh my goodness. So if you ever ask your bartender for this, they might let out quite a large sigh. <laughs> well, when you do order this cocktail and it's made like this, make sure you, of course, very handsomely tip your bartender because this is a craft right here. And it is a workout. <laughs> and as you can see, it's best to get the entire body into this. It's not just moving your arms. <laughs> exactly. Halfway there. Brings a whole new meaning to shaking your world. <laughs> All right. I think the ice is melted enough. I think we're there. And now you don't need to drain it or anything because that ice has melted. So you just pour it straight into your chilled glass and you'll see this beautiful foam that we have here. And then I like to take a zest of a lemon and twist it over the top to just get those oils in there. And then we're going to top it with a lemon or an orange twist as well. And there you have it. Looks, looks gin fizz. like a milkshake that is marvelous in appearance. Now how's it taste, Michaela? Let's try it out. It's May so I? good. Delish. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you're still tuning in. And the six or seven of you out there have any questions or comments, please send them right online to shakersmilwaukee at gmail.com. We look forward to seeing you on the next episode. And I'll have bigger muscles your world. by Ramos. <laughs> Cheers.